I, you know, I would just say that I'm a small business owner and I would never make a major change to something. And, and I think that all of you who have had that experience with your business would certainly want to know the impact, would want to see some spreadsheets, would want to make sure that you understood exactly what was going to happen if you made a change. I mean, th some things can change, but I do not feel like that process is being followed today at all. Um, because we did just get this amendment on our desk a few minutes ago. We're trying to digest it and figure out what's in it. There's no fiscal note. There's no discussion. There's no summary about what this scenario could mean for the general fund and for our future as a state going forward. Um, Representative Toma talked about, you know, people, the tax cuts generally benefiting the economy. I will say, you know, I, again, I'm a small business owner. If I get a tax cut, I'm not just going to go hire more people. I don't just hire more people because I made more money. I hire more people because there's more demand for what I am, get what I am providing. So when you allow people in the middle class and you allow more people to have money in their pocket to spend, that's when I'm going to hire more people because more people will be coming to my business seeking my services. Um, just cutting the, the tax rates of the highest income earners, they're not going to need any more dentistry. You can only mow one lawn at your house. You can only buy so many boats. Um, so I, I think that our theory of, of, and our discussion of this is that it, this is not vetted. We do not know what this is going to do to our general fund. We do not understand what this will mean for Arizona's future. We don't know what this will mean for our ability to invest in anything that matters, like education, infrastructure, healthcare, all of those things that we know matter. So I appreciate that there are actually a lot of members on the floor today compared to other uh, committee of the whole sessions, and I'm glad to see that people are listening and paying attention, probably because this is so last minute. Um, but I, um, I appreciate the opportunity to comment and to just really share that no matter where you are on the political spectrum, we should know what we're doing. We should know what the impact of something is. And I hope that the headline, if this passes, is that, you know, the people who are voting for this without a fiscal note, without any strong analysis of what this means, that's going to be a problem. And I am encouraging people and I appreciate people listening and taking into consideration these ideas. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Butler. Uh, Representative Cook, do you have a question for the amendments? 